Hey, what is up, Flavor Family? It is Bobby and Art back at the grocery store, Whole Foods to be exact, to do a vegan grocery haul review because this week I was shopping at the store and I'm like, wow, it has never been a better time to be a vegan. There are so many plant-based options down there that are good, good for you, and so darn creative. I think to back to the, like, the 80s and 90s when I was growing up, they didn't have these options. There was like soy cheese and soy milk, that's it. So let's go down there and show you about 10 to 15 really exciting products here and a few to avoid because just because it's plant-based, just because it's vegan, doesn't mean it's good for you. But before we get down there, you're gonna to wanna to hit that subscribe button, my friends. Every single week, we are rocking out three videos on my channel, two videos on the weekend, and one live stream during the week. So after you subscribe, click that little bell icon right below the video, that way you get a push notification as soon as we go live. The live streams during the week are super fun, you guys. Ooh, perfect timing here. We make a recipe from start to finish, hang out with the community, and have a good old time. Now, let's see what plant-based stuff is lurking in the store, y'all. Things start to get really, really exciting. In this cold case, we're also in a very highly visible area, so the risk of Waldo's is huge. But butter spreads, this brand, Mykonos, is best in class, you guys. This is fantastic. I had it like a year ago for the first time. Someone was making a steak and they were basting it with this. I couldn't even tell it was uh, imitation butter. The ingredients are fantastic. It's rich and fatty from the coconut oil. And what I like most about this is that it's culture, meaning there's a bacteria starter in here that gives it kind of that funk, and it's also good probiotics for your gut. I don't love the fact that it's not Expeller Plus sunflower oil, but still, it's really good stuff. On the flip side, this brand here, Earth Balance, stay away from it. This is the kind of imitation spread you do not want to buy. You think you're buying something good for you. Olive oil? Look at the ingredients. It's a blend of palm fruit, canola, safflower, and then extra virgin olive oil. Super misleading. Natural flavorings, not good. This is one of the prime examples of what you don't want to have. Then we go to cream cheese. By far, my favorite cream cheese that's vegan is Kite Hill. These guys are crushing it. The flavor and texture of this is just like real cream cheese. Go for the chive cheese. It is fantastic. We look at the ingredients. Fantastic. All thrill or no filler. It does have a couple gums in here, like xanthan gum and guar gum, but compare that to any cream cheese here that's dairy, and they have them too. There is a new one here from Mykonos too. This is brand new. I have not tried it, but I love the fact that it is uh, cultured and the ingredients look fantastic in this one too. Stay away from stuff like tofuti. This is like the old school crappy vegan stuff. Ingredients are terrible, you guys. Soybean, palm fruit oil, maltodextrin, really, really bad news. And don't get the Kite Hill flavored one because there's too much sugar and there's uh, natural flavors in there. And this, you guys, is the most exciting vegan yogurt I've seen in a while. It's Kite Hill, made from almonds, but is Greek style almond milk yogurt, meaning it's strained. Why is that important? When you strain yogurt, you uh, increase the protein count, right? So we look at this, there's 11 grams of protein on here compared to the normal one four grams of protein. How do they do that? They add almond protein isolate. That is so cool, you guys, but get the plain unflavored. Whenever you get any kind of yogurt, it has to be unflavored because number one, the sugar levels are super high and sugars cancel out the probiotic bacteria so you're not getting that uh, probiotic effect. This is fantastic, best in class here. Oh, and then this is probably one of the most exciting things I've seen in a long time. It's a new brand of yogurt called Lava. It's 100% plant-based, and it's the only one I've ever seen that has flavors without adding additional sugar or natural flavors. How do they do it? They actually put the fruit in there. Oh my God, they're actually using raspberries. That's a first. They have ingredients like plantains, peely nuts, coconut cream. This is the best in class flavored vegan yogurt I've ever seen. Very, very exciting half options happening here in the dairy case. Let's take a quick break from the video and thank today's sponsor, Drop. You guys, Drop is a completely free rewards app that lets you earn points for shopping at the stores you shop at every single day, like Whole Foods, like Trader Joe's, heck, even Uber. Once you earn those points, they uh, convert into rewards that you can uh, cash in for uh, gift cards. These gift cards can be used for a ton of places like Amazon, like Starbucks. So all the shopping I'm doing today at Whole Foods are earning me points I can use for gift cards. And you don't just earn points for in-store shopping, you earn points for online shopping too. So once you launch the Drop app, go to the Browse page. There's a ton of different categories on there like food, home and household, hint, Walmart is on there. You launch Shop through the app, 
you shop and you earn major points. For example, I'm looking at some new Apple accessories lately. There's a bonus there for 20 points for every dollar spent. You can earn major points, man. Every 5,000 points can convert to $5. Plus, Instacart is on the app. So if you do your online shopping, you might as well do it through the Drop app and earn some major bonus points. And here's the best part. Drop says to me, yo, Bobby, do you want to give away some gift cards to your fans? How about 50 gift cards? Yes, 50 ranging from $5 to $25. And I'm like, heck yeah, I do. So all you have to do is download the Drop app using my link in the description box or download the app and use my promo code is right here and link your credit card. Don't worry, the linking of your credit card is completely safe. They use the Plaid network. That's how they track all your purchases so you can earn the points. So guys, sign up. Major props to drop for uh, sponsoring the video. Check them out. Getting a lot of requests on Instagram for Mary's Gone Crackers, which I didn't really see until this week. And wow, wow, wee wow, you guys. The ingredients here are next level. Wow, look at this. All whole grains, which is really important because whole grains uh, satiate your hunger. They don't spike your blood sugar. Very, very good. Much better than enriched wheat or stripped grains. Brown rice, quinoa, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, not even using any kind of oil in here. I mean, that's amazing. Isn't it amazing? I mean, <laughs> look at that. Um, any one of these flavors here is fantastic, except I would not get the real thin crackers because Mary is using my least favorite oil ever, palm fruit shortening. So palm fruit is palm oil. To make it into shortening, you kind of like uh, turn it into like Crisco or you uh, hydrogenate it. Very, very bad. You know what bothers me about them also? They use organic sunflower oil, but it doesn't say that it's expeller pressed. So even though it's organic, it could be highly processed. Ah. Yeah, that kind of bothers me. Have you tried Mary's? See, it's confusing. Once you fall down that rabbit hole of reading ingredients, it's a deep, deep hole. But ask yourself this. Can you get palm oil in the grocery store to cook with it at home? No. So why do they keep using it here at the grocery store? Cheap, you guys. It's a cheap oil. And even if it's responsibly farmed, it's still not good for you, right? So avoid that. Um, and then I mentioned to her, Simple Mills, one of the best in class vegan and uh, gluten-free crackers, but they're using organic sunflower oil. Just because it's organic doesn't mean it's not expeller pressed. Uh, we want it to be expeller pressed. So I got to find out what the deal is with that. Um, and then this is very popular, these cauliflower crackers. Um, and I like that they're using cauliflower as the number one ingredient, but they're using responsibly sourced palm oil. Doesn't matter, it's still bad for you. Just means it's better for the environment. And they're using maltodextrin, which is a food preservative, once again, that spikes your blood sugar. So I don't like that. I would stick with Mary's Gone Cracker. She is the best in class, and that is super, super impressive. We can't leave this aisle without doing vegan mac and cheese. I just saw a super exciting product. These guys are crushing, you guys. Upton, they make the uh, jackfruit in their refrigerator case. They also make the best in class mac and cheese. Look at the ingredient list. It's so small. This is the way food should be. They've used nutritional yeast, a.k.a. vegan parmesan rice bran oil that's a really high quality uh, oil much better than canola oil expeller pressed oil very very cool uh, mustard powder turmeric this is amazing you guys and just to compare it to annie's vegan mac and cheese here first off way longer ingredients and they start putting a bunch of nasties in here right they're using the maltodextrin food preservative spikes our blood sugar and eh. they're using sunflower oil is it expeller pressed yet it is not uh, they have natural flavorings in here. So not nearly as good here. I will say the Daya, <laughs> I will say the Daya is slightly better here, um, but it does have the vegan natural flavoring. So they're specifying that, but why even bother with all that filler when you have all the thriller you're gonna hear uh, with Upton? That's amazing. I love some of the vegan names for products and I do love this one right here called Lesser Evil. That's a good name, you gotta admit it, right? And they make the uh, popcorn here that I knew about but now I'm seeing they have paleo puffs and they have the no cheese cheese puffs here. And they start off with good ingredients, but then it gets a little sketchy in my book because it has uh, yeast extract, which is another word for MSG. It's a chemically made uh, flavor enhancer. And then it also has uh, organic flavor. What is organic flavor? I'm guessing it's natural flavorings, but I would stick with the plain paleo puffs. We look at the ingredients, much cleaner. And you know what? I'm going to buy this anyway. I've been dying to know what this tastes like. Mm. You can taste the coconut oil. That's delicious. Much cleaner ingredients. Wow, these are really good. I would crush these for sure. And the same is true. Wow, these are really good for the popcorn. Stick with the basic. And these are really good. <laughs> My God. Oh, you're going to like that. Stick with the basic popcorn here. 
It's, it's cooked in extra virgin coconut oil. It's organic, GMO, free popcorn. The problem is when you start going to the cheese one again, we have the organic flavor and the uh, chemically made yeast extract, but stick with the plain flavored lesser evil. And man, you'll be lucky if I share these. These are good, my God. Mm. Super exciting product here for non-dairy creamers. Malk, the company that makes almond milk, has a new product out, almond milk creamer, but it's almond and oat. The ingredients are ridiculous, you guys. This is maple and pecan. Well, they get that flavor in there with natural flavorings, right? Heck no! Organic pecans, organic maple syrup, organic coconut sugar. The vanilla one does have natural vanilla flavorings, say derived from vanilla bean, but my gosh, this is best in class because it's not watered down with tons of emulsifiers. It's just the uh, oats and the almonds, which is really, really cool. If you want another good dairy-free vegan creamer, I would go for Nut Pods, but get the original one because the flavored ones have uh, natural flavorings. But this is great because coconut cream makes it nice and thick, but that is fantastic. That milk is best in class, you guys. Here's a product that, in my mind, I'm like, this is just wrong. It's vegan eggs in a container, you scramble, but I actually tried them and they're very good. And the ingredients are quite impressive. They're using mung bean protein isolate. That's a very high quality protein source. Expeller pressed canola oil. Uh, they do have natural flavors with Buns Me Out, but it's such like a next level product. I mean, vegan eggs that are scrambled like this, that I'm okay with it for this case. Um, does have a few weird ingredients you might be kind of freaked out about. Uh, Transglut, uh, how do you pronounce it again? <laughs> Transglutaminase. Thank you. Transglutaminase. That's uh, actually glue. Usually it comes from meat glue, but it could also come from plant form, so that's fine. And then tetrasodium uh, prophosphate is a preservative. You wanna be careful not to get too many phosphates in your body because it could hurt you if you have colitis or uh, kidney issues and it can lead to heart disease, but this is actually Bobby approved because it's so innovative and it's actually not nearly as kind of loaded with bad ingredients as I thought. This is super, super exciting, you guys. Vegan probiotic drinks. We all need to help foster and build our gut bacteria. Our overall health for our body really begins in the gut. And the more sugar you eat, the more acidic foods you eat, you kill your gut bacteria. And considering that we eat, the average American, 19.5 teaspoons of sugar per day, you know what sugar does, obviously, it increases uh, a heart disease and risk of obesity. It also kills your good gut bacteria and promotes the bad ones. Hence, why we need to drink this stuff. And this is fantastic because this is a Forager brand again. It's uh, based in San Francisco, really cool company with cashews. And this is uh, Califia, we all know that. And this is almond milk based along with coconut cream. The thing is, stay away from the flavored ones. Once you start going to the sweet ones like the blueberry, the strawberry, they have a ton of added sugar. Number one, that adds way too much sugar to your diet. Number two, the sugar cancels the effect of the probiotic bacteria. It kills them. You do not want that. All right, let's talk about sausages. There are some really good options here, starting with field roast. Love the name for that one, right? Roast from the field. Uh, very good quality sausages here, including breakfast sausages. We look at the ingredients. I've got expeller pressed oil here. A little bit of yeast extract, not the best. Uh, the breakfast sausage though is pretty decent too. The thing is they have this at Walmart now. Both of these are cheaper at Walmart, so I would get that. But probably even better than that, and a better name, is No Evil. I mean, come on, these names are getting amazing, right? But also amazing are the ingredients on this, you guys. We think of uh, plant-based food, especially when you get into sausages and prepared products, as being highly processed, and they usually are. These guys are using really good ingredients, you guys. Look at this. Kidney beans, uh, nutritional yeast, organic thyme, fennel. There's no filler in here. There's no maltodextrin. There's no chemicals. These are the pulled pork. This is the sausages or the hot dogs. These are a really good brand. I would scoop this one for sure. Let's talk about uh, deli slices, vegan deli slices. I love that 365 is starting to have more products. They have the cheese here, but they also have these uh, turkey deli slices. and. The problem is they do have a few uh, added, added things here I don't like, like natural flavorings, yeast extract, but they're using carrageenan here. Carrageenan is that seaweed emulsifier. You don't need to put that in here. So for that reason, I'd pass. Um, Tofurky is not my favorite because they use soy, but they do have this at, whole, at uh, Walmart for a better price. I would go to, the, once again, the field roast. You look at the ingredients for this flavor. Really clean, expeller pressed sunflower oil, mushrooms, barley, um, this is the way to go. One of the other ones did have uh, not the cleanest ingredients, but the wild mushroom one is really good. 
I'm trying to hide from the butchers here. Uh, mayonnaise or veganaise is very, very interesting. You can't go wrong with the old school follow your heart veganaise because if you look at the ingredients, it's expeller pressed canola oil, which is not highly processed. Uh, they do have soy in here, which I don't like, which is why I highly recommend going for the follow your heart soy free veganaise. It's without soy, but it still uses the expeller pressed uh, high oleic safflower oil. High oleic is slightly heart healthier, but we can do better. If we come over here, let me grab the Sir Kensington Fabanais here. It's made with avocado oil. This one is good. It's more expensive, but avocado is a heart healthier oil. And the rest of the ingredients are super clean. But stay away from the Sir Kensington Basic Fabanais because we look at the ingredients and it uses uh, sunflower oil. It's not expeller press sunflower oil, it's highly refined sunflower oil. So stay away from that. There is one also from Chosen Food that is really, really good. They keep it over on the aisle over there with avocado oil. And then we look at cheeses here, right? Keep in mind that all of these uh, plant-based cheeses are gonna have uh, natural flavoring. It's something I discovered doing research. Um, the thing is, some will be trickiest area we've ever shot in. But at least this brand right here, which is my best in class, Wild Life, says that it's from vegan sources, right? So it's not natural flavors that could come from dairy or from uh, meat. Uh, this is the best. It has the best flavor, the best meltability. It comes in slices too. You can get it in smoked provolone and cheddar. It's fantastic. But if you want best ever ingredients, this brand, once again, the uh, it's not Mykonos, like I said, it's Miyokos, Miyokos, uh, they have mozzarella plant-based cheese. I look at the ingredients, super clean, you guys. This is fantastic. And then there's a brand here that makes uh, a dairy-free spread. It's called Leaf Cuisine. Yeah, you're all good, don't worry about it. I don't know what to do with that. Waldo, uh, this brand, Leaf Cuisine, they make dairy-free spreads that have amazing ingredients. You look at the back here, organic coconut oil, real ingredients like jalapeno, lime, and they're actually adding good bacteria here, more probiotic gut bacteria health. This is fantastic. Um, also, uh, Miyokos makes kind of plant-based brie cheeses here that have amazing ingredients. Expensive, yes, but amazing ingredients. Let's talk about pickles for a second. I would steer away from conventional pickles because why? We look at the ingredients and they're always brined with vinegar. Vinegar is very acidic. That kills your gut bacteria. Once again, we want to foster those gut bacteria. And nowadays, there's naturally fermented pickles. There's naturally fermented cabbage. And this is a very popular brand called Bubby's. They're from Canada. And when you look at the uh, ingredient list, there's no vinegar because it's a natural fermentation that takes longer, which is why they're more expensive, but it's really, really good for you. Also, there's a company called Wild Brine. All these cool companies are from California, guys. It's freaking, freaking crazy. Um, they do make fermented cabbage, uh, sauerkraut, and you can get a great deal on that at Costco, but now they're making fermented probiotic sriracha. And this is so cool because they're using ingredients like kale, uh, tomatillos, kimchi, super, super cool way to get some flavor, some spice, and some probiotics in your diet, which we all need. Now we all know about the Beyond Burger, but something you might not know about is one pound Beyond Beef packs. And the reason why this is better, in my opinion, is number one, it's cheaper. It's $10 a pound versus $12 a pound for the patties. And the ingredients are cleaner. This is version 2.0. You still can't find version 2.0 patties everywhere. The ingredients are much better. They got rid of a couple suspect ingredients in the old one, like sunflower oil and maltodextrin. And they also put good ingredients in here, like mung bean protein. And they also did something cocoa butter. They put a cocoa butter in here that ups the beefy factor. And when you see it in the actual patty, it looks like marbled uh, fat. It's super cool. So I would get this and make your own kind of like taco ground beef uh, filling as opposed to getting this. Beyond Meat sells crumbles like this, but the ingredients are really bad, you guys. Look at around. You turn it around, you see canola and sunflower oil in here. It's not expeller press, so it's highly refined and processed. It has the maltodextrin, so you're much better off buying the packet and making your own burgers, your own crumble, your own tacos. And then there's something down here I spied. There's a new player in town, the Meatless Farm Co, which is super cool. And it looks like a tub of ground beef. The problem is it's soy based and I do not like soy. And there's some other nasty ingredients here. So I would stick with the pack of the Beyond Beef. This product is super cool from a really high quality brand. It's vegan chocolate chip cookie dough. Ingredients are next level, you guys. Look at this. 
They're using almond flour, organic Vermont maple syrup, organic vanilla extract, no natural flavorings, uh, coconut oil. This is fantastic. Pricey, yes, at $14, but this could be best in class clean ingredients for a dessert that's vegan. Super impressive. This is my favorite vegan ice cream. It's called Kado. Now, keep in mind, you can get it at Walmart for $2 cheaper per pint. You're paying the Whole Foods effect here. Um, they have a new flavor here, salted caramel. My favorite is chocolate. We look at the ingredients, very, very clean. And probably my favorite thing about this ice cream is the low amount of sugar. It only has 13 grams of sugar for half a cup serving. Other ones routinely have 18 to 20 grams. Um, I don't like the fact that they put natural flavorings in the salted caramel, and it's not vegan natural flavoring, but if you stick to chocolate or vanilla, it does not have natural flavoring, and it has the avocado meat in here. So really good fatty acids, really good uh, fiber content. This is one of my favorites, but if you want to go sugar-free, this is the one you want to get. It's so delicious, uh, sugar-free vanilla. They have other flavors too. It does have natural flavorings, which is a bummer, but we're talking about one gram of sugar per serving, which is really, really good. So this is good for uh, no sugar or low sugar, but the avocado is my favorite vegan. We have a couple really good choices here for vegan pizzas. This is new. It's Amy's Vegan Pizza, and this is Sweet Earth. Uh, I think Veg News uh, ranked this one number one for vegan pizzas. There is one thing I want to point out here. Both of these pizzas contain natural flavors, and we did a video last week all about natural flavors. And they're not really natural, right? They start with something natural like, say, corn, and they can add up to 100 chemicals to it and still call it natural. The thing is, you wanna look for vegan natural flavors. If it doesn't say that, there could be animal product in here because natural flavors often come from plants, animals, and dairy. And unless it says vegan, that means they're not sure. And I think companies like this don't know that because the thing about natural flavors is don't ask the companies what's in there because they don't know. They outsource it to just a number of companies who make these natural flavorings in a lab and they're proprietary. They'll never tell you what's in there. We talk about that in the video from last week, so watch that. So I would always look for vegan natural flavorings. There's a bunch of other products here that have that. My sneaking suspicion is if it doesn't say that, like these pizzas, there is a good chance that it came from animal sources. But besides that, these both are really good. All right, family, that is it. The vegan review is over. I can't get enough of Paleo Puffs. Art is not as keen as me, but I love them. Hey, really, really cool stuff here at the grocery store. But read the ingredients. Just because it's plant-based doesn't mean it's good for you. But hey, now is a fantastic time to be plant-based. Eat some really good products. Let us know what else is out there. Leave a comment down below. We have two more uh, reviews going below us right now. But Art and I will see you very soon. Until then, hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace.